Hello everyone and welcome back to the next mission in our Alt Stormovik 1946 Iron Man series, the uh, Soviet campaign. Um, uh, I did uh, did some testing with the the map stuff, and I found in the JSGME mod activator there is a mod to restore default skies to. The original maps and I noticed in those load.any configs that the declination was proper properly set and we should actually have proper daytime for this mission no more sun on the horizon or pitch black missions um uh, and yeah we should it says it's 11 a.m it should actually look like it's 11 a.m now kind of excited to actually have a proper daytime mission Especially since it seems like there's going to be a lot of planes in this one. Escorting bombers with six I-16s. Probably going to run into some 109s yet again. But without further ado, let's see if this actually works. Okay, so it seems like it did not work. I'm a little confused though because in the full mission builder I was able to load this same exact map, uh, Moscow Winter by 1C Medics, at 12 o'clock and it, wa it was full daytime, yet in the campaign the sun ceases to go above the horizon no matter what time it is. Now I'm not sure what the problem is with that. I don't know if it's I need to start a new campaign or something like that, but uh, I uh, don't like this thing giving me problems, and I think I'm just gonna have to leave things the way they are for now. Not the greatest uh, outcome, not the optimal outcome, but uh, I think we can live with it. So, without further ado, let us get to the mission at hand. Now, as always, I, I've done this takeoff before, so I will let the autopilot handle that, and uh, I'll see you guys when something interesting starts happening. Alright, we're pretty much over the target at this point. There's been a lot of radio chatter going on. I mean, as you can tell, you can see those tracers over there. There's definitely a massive dogfight happening. But, uh, we're not in it just yet. Probably will be. Shortly. I don't know what the AI is doing. Oh. Alright, give me control. I see. Oh yeah, there, there's enemies there. So for this mission, we're actually in control of a flight of three I-16s. So I'll be able to tell them what to do. Okay, I'm only seeing one German aircraft right now. <coughs> What's he doing? Oh, there's another- whoa, he's coming in hot. What's he gonna do? Okay, we're gonna get in this. Oh, that was a bad aim. We're really close. Let him up a little bit. This is a 109F series. Let him up some more. Oh, he looks like I saw the cockpit. It was all red. I think I might have pilot sniped him. Oh, he's still fighting though. I can tango with this guy. Make sure I don't get anyone on my six. 
Guy's getting lit up. Okay, I think he might be toast, actually. Yep, he's dead. I must have severely wounded him. There we go. We're an ace now, boys. Certified Russian ace. Let's go. I think there's still more aircraft over here. Yep. Oh, that guy's done for anyway. Jeez, we definitely outnumbered them. Big time. This is the enemy airfield that is getting bombed. Alright. Oh, oh. Watch out, I don't... Okay, we're supposed to be... Supposed to be ground attacking at this point, I see. Alright. Let's tell my flight to attack ground targets. What ground targets are there even? Room? There's something down here. Ah, bad aim. Where's that? Uh -huh. I don't like the fact that I'm getting shot at. Where's the- there it is. There we go. No more anti-aircraft to keep terrorizing us. It seemed like there was a couple more juicy targets around here. Putting a truck, several trucks. There's another truck here. Oh wait, that truck is still here. There we go. It required a lot more cannon runs than I would have thought. Absolutely decimating this airfield though, that's for sure. Let's get this other radio truck. Go. Okay, we're pretty much out of cannon rounds. That looks like uh, J88. We'll take a, we'll take a pass at that. Whoa! What was that? That scared the crap out of me. Alright, maybe let's not get greedy. Yeah, let's uh, not push our luck here. Let's just boogie on out of here. Let's a little bit. Let me tell my boys to rejoin. 
Я шестой. Понял, выполняю. Я седьмой. Понял, пор. Направление. Ноль три ноль. Высота. Ноль один. Направление. Ноль девять ноль. Высота. Ноль один. All right. Should be smooth sailing. I'll uh, see you guys back at the landing strip. Alright, we're coming in for the landing here. Nothing happened on the way back, thankfully. Once again, should be pretty smooth landing. Someone on the runway, can't anymore. Well, job well done. Let's see how things shook out. Okay, enemy lost six planes. We lost no planes in that action. We dang, even lag threes were shooting down 109 F2s. That's crazy. Loki, the Russian bias might be real here. But uh yeah, what the heck? That's crazy. Yeah, so once again, another lopsided mission on the uh, side of the Russians here. Absolute dominance and destruction of an airfield. Yeah, pretty smooth. Not really much more to say about this mission. Got a pretty nice kill, pilot snipe, and then did some some ground attacking on the airfield after the bombers had done their work. I'd say a job well done. Let's fly and see what's waiting for us on the next one. Let's see. I was awarded the Order of the Red Banner. Okay. I like that. I like that. Let's take a look at it. Also, yep. Yeah, last mission, we became an official ace. Yeah, we got Order of the Red Star and the Order of the Red Banner now. Absolutely solid. It's almost 1942. It's Christmas Day in 1941. Looks like we're pushing back the Germans a little bit here. We took control of Mosaisk. Uh, yeah, the front line used to be like right next to our airfield. We pushed them back at least 20 kilometers. That's quite a lot. But uh, interesting. So the bombers are actually going to be bombing uh, a village of some kind. It's an interesting target. They must have some kind of military emplacements there. But, uh, yeah, we got a, got a medal. Next, uh, next time we're going to be doing another escort mission. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I think in the future I might end up doing a Russian, like any Eastern Front campaigns I might do in a VP mod pack so that I can avoid the weird declination map issues. Uh, that's for, for the future. Um, for this campaign, I, we just might have to deal with the perpetual sun on the horizon. But, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be memorable. <laughs> I'll recognize this specific I-16 playthrough just because there will not be a single full-on day mission in this entire campaign, at least for the Moscow one. If we make it past Moscow, we might actually be okay. But, uh, but yeah. Thanks for joining me on this one. I'm gonna stay frosty out there. I'll see you guys in the next one.